it's okay that you're not there yet. You will get there. Happy New Year. I cannot believe it is already 2024. Last year went by very fast. It just seems like once maybe like March hit, the, the year was over. Whew. We here. We made it y'all. We made it to 2024. So I really, let me just keep it real. So the year was up and down for me. I, I definitely went through a lot like grief with losing my uncle. My job had like a mass layoffs. So dealing with job loss on top of like an actual loved one loss. It just was a lot that was transpiring. And a lot of that, um, a lot of that weight heavy on me throughout the year. And it was very important for me to protect my peace last year because I had so much going on. It was just really important for me to protect my peace. It was really important for me to set boundaries last year, actually stand on business. I wanna go through like six, maybe five to six major lessons that I learned last year that we taken into the new year. I'm okay with taking these lesson learns from last year and implementing them on a higher level for this year. Do my intro. So, hey y'all, my name is Sierra. I go by C and you are watching a little bit of C because <laughs> period. Welcome and or welcome back to um my channel like i was saying like i just really needed time to reflect on my year um and y'all know i'm pretty you know i'm pretty transparent to a certain extent because again this is the internet like not too much in no particular order first lesson baby money management money management okay my job loss and just going through a lot with just things changing from that it definitely taught me to manage my finances better. I thought I was doing a pretty good job, which I was doing a pretty good job, but I think I could have definitely done better um, with, you know, my finances. And I'm still young. I'm still learning. I'm still trying to understand, like, what to do. I'm no expert at all. So this year, this is kind of like one of the things that I want to work on this year is, like, money management, budgeting, financing, you know, being better in case of an emergency so i think that's the biggest thing because in a sense that was a state of emergency for me is like job loss and not really knowing like what's going to be happening your girl will be managing her money better into this new year uh, we're going to be budgeting and you know we're going to be setting up financial goals and all that good stuff so if that's something that you are interested in like seeing like us uh, maybe a series or like just really coming behind the scenes with me as far as like what i'm going to be doing comment a money sign down below and let me know if that's something you guys are interested in the second one which is a really big one for me is self worrying about myself versus worrying about others okay so it's very important for you to always you know put yourself first because a lot of times you know especially if you are extremely empathetic you care so much about others you're just very nurturing things that kind of align with me a lot of times you find yourself caring way more about other people and what they have going on and then you don't care about yourself make sure i'm putting myself first at all times well i put god first right but i'm just saying like that's that ain't going nowhere like god is always gonna be first but after that first would be myself I think for me last year just started to revert a little bit back to how I used to be which is like caring about caring too much about what other people thought or what they think or what I should do like just really seeking a little bit too much validation from other people when it should be coming from God and myself that's something that I definitely want to work on into 2024 it's just all things self next thing baby like I just mentioned standing on business my standing on business is a little, it incorporates a little bit of both. Like, what y'all know is standing on business is like, you ain't gonna try me, I have boundaries, you're not gonna disrespect me, etc. Definitely, definitely doing that this year. But for me, the caveat to that is standing on business as far as exploring ways to generate more income, exploring and really evaluating like the businesses that I do currently have and the opportunities and making sure that I am constantly standing on my business as far as like, what can I do to elevate and do more, be more, be better so that I can be more fruitful um, in this world as far as giving others, you know, more opportunities, do more like 
partnerships and business related things you know like you can't do everything by yourself you need people to help you so um definitely standing on business this year next lesson which is lesson four is it's okay it's okay it's okay to have feelings it's okay to cry it's okay that everything isn't working out how you see fit it's okay to not have it all together like all of these things are okay and i think this is something that's really big and really important for me too because I sometimes feel like I should be further than where I am, you know? And I constantly had to remind myself last year and just definitely over the last few weeks is, it's okay that you're not there yet. You will get there. You have to remain faithful and you have to truly like believe that God is working behind the scenes and behind the curtain or whatever you want to say he's always working so where you're supposed to be and where you're at is exactly where god needs you so it is okay like be okay with i had to tell myself like be okay with not having control over the situation be okay with the tears be okay with the vulnerability be okay with expressing yourself and communicating like that's something that i definitely did last year is if something didn't sit right with me i let it be known like hey i don't like how you moving or hey this isn't really right for me or hey like, i don't think this is gonna work like i communicated my butt off like last year so it's okay to do those things and it's okay to validate yourself and it's okay to tell yourself like hey i'm doing the best that i can and it's not perfect and god doesn't expect me to be perfect but i'm gonna to keep moving forward and that is okay so that is something that i'm bringing into the new year as well as it is okay where i'm at today is okay as long as i'm always progressing forward and working towards the goals that i have for myself and being in alignment with god it is okay as long as i'm better than yesterday it is okay y'all know i did vlogmas on here and everything it was definitely very difficult like i was on the struggle bus with vlogmas like really trying to push out videos every day and it is not for the week child so i definitely commend you know youtubers and content creators who participated in vlogmas or something like similar to vlogmas i know some people were doing like things on tiktok on instagram just some different spins on vlogmas and so i definitely commend the people who actually did it for the full like 30 days the holiday was not holiday in this year like I wanted to be around my family of course but it was very difficult like I remember I think I was like leaving Dollar Tree or I was leaving from like running an errand and I'm just in a car vibing to my church music like and yes you can vibe to church music but I was like vibing to my music and stuff like that and then next thing I know I just started crying like your girl was just in the car crying and I'm like why am I crying like I can't even get myself together I was really trying to push through this holiday season to do vlogmas and a lot of that was just really affecting me like I just was not in the best headspace to like pick up a camera and film although I was filming like I just really wasn't how y'all normally see me on here acting up just joking around listening to my music like you know like none of that was happening like i was very much sad my hair was every which way um it was just a lot it was it was a lot so i say all that to say is like it's okay fifth lesson for me is and for me like i was having a conversation with um i don't know if it was my mom or because it was somebody, I was talking to somebody, child. But basically, I was saying, I feel like I'm so self-aware these days that sometimes it leads me to self-sabotage, if that makes sense, right? Because I'm so self-aware, I stop and analyze way more and overthink way more than what I used to. Like, I used to be a little bit more green, as they would say, like, just like, follow la la la, like, just more green is the best way that I can put it. But now, like, I stop and really analyze probably a little bit too much, and I feel like that can lead to me self sabotaging a lot of different things, whether it be friendships or like business opportunities or just whatever the case may be. I'm just like way too self aware. However, it really is important to be self aware as far as like the things that you're experiencing, and so I think the lesson for me in this moving into 2024 is to scale back 
a little bit, but always still be self-aware as far as like what I have going on, how I'm monitoring the things that are happening around me and things like that. Not to do it in a sense where I start to self-sabotage and then it's actually ruining opportunities or relationships and friendships and things like that, that I'm so self-aware that it's stopping me from doing something, if that makes sense. So definitely scaling back this year. Okay, because it was a bit much last year, okay? Last but not least, a lesson from last year that I want to take into this year is to never stop learning. Never stop learning and educating. So during the period of me just being pretty much like from a corporate perspective unemployed not when i kind of god pushed me into this entrepreneur journey but i always still was exploring opportunities to learn and educate myself on all things marketing and all of the different spaces in marketing and even if there weren't things specifically in marketing like i still you know took an interest to other things outside of what i'm comfortable with so i think that would is something that's very important is like yeah you want to continue to learn and educate yourself on things that you're interested in but also try to do things that or educate yourself on things that aren't like within your norm like i don't know like learn about fishing or something like i'm i don't know how to fish but learn about it learn about the fish learn about the animals like because then it leads you to so many other things and it really just expands your mind and another kind of part to that is networking is a part of that like never start networking and learning from other people as well because when you kind of go out and network and hear about other people's journey and what they did and stuff like it opened up doors for you to kind of um internalize that and say like oh this person kind of did that let me take interest in that and see how i can you know become a better person become a better entrepreneur become a better you know whatever your field or study is how can i be better based on you know what this person kind of did not copying them i'm not saying that but the listening and learning to how they kind of got to where they are it may be something that you you know want to take up on so pretty much sums up the lessons that i learned from 2023 and what i'm taking into 2024 baby and the biggest one is standing on business and i want y'all to do the same we'll see y'all in the next video bye he said that I blow his mind every time I'm activated. You just trying to catch a vibe. CC got you fascinated. Jump up, bring a brand new ride. BMW riding, baby.